Hey, what's up, guys? Felix here for Synthetic Taxi back with another video. Today, I have a tutorial on Adobe Premiere and uh, works, Workspace Windows uh, and Adobe Premiere. So, first thing you want to do is open up Adobe Premiere Pro. So once it's, up, it's opened up, you can uh, either create a new project or um, open a recent one. So you can, uh, let's say, let's open this one for example. And we wait for it to load. Okay, there we go. So in Adobe Premiere, you have four different uh, workspace uh, windows um, so I, I would like to start off with the uh, project window over here so this is where all your media is gonna go so for example I have um, the uh, the outro from Photoshop I have a video I have some background music I have basically basically uh, audio uh, pictures and video is what goes here so of course and you can uh, also Make make him bigger or smaller. Uh, you can also have a list view. You can have um, you can you can create a new item. You can create a new BIM, which is like a folder. Um, then over here you have the effects. These are your effects you can add to your video. And you have info. Uh, you don't have to worry too much about that. Markers. Uh, not you don't have to worry about that. And so this is where all your media goes. Um, so up here you have the source so this is where the original clip is gonna play so for example if I have this if I drag that in there see this that's the original video so um, that's what the source window is for so of course you uh, let's say I want to start the video um, right here and I click this mark in and then let's say it keeps playing I want to stop it right there I click mark out and then when I drag it it only drags that part that I selected um, then you have the insert which is just to insert the video uh, the whole video into the timeline and yeah uh, and then you have effect controls this is for if you select a clip like that uh, I just selected the one on the timeline here so you have like you can edit the motion of it you can um, the opacity the all of that also the the audio is for this you have the volume exam for example you have the channel volume you have um, the audio clip mixer which is to lower and raise the audio decibels um, so that's what's in the source window up here you have the program window so this this is where the uh, the uh, edited clip is gonna go so what you see on the timeline for example when you put the videos the clips the photos the audio the stuff these uh, things you put in the timeline and sequence is what's gonna appear in the program window um, so yeah hey so what's up guys see, Felix here for the Synthetic Taxi back with another the, video. The, the video the program window moves as well so yeah um, that is the program window is what you have edited what the final uh, video is gonna look like um, then the timeline window is for a couple a couple things uh, so here you can select like for example it says v1 a1 v1 is a uh, video a is audio so you can select uh, which one to enable or not uh, then you have the um, you can scroll around here uh, for example you can scroll back and forth you can make the timeline um, big you can make the timeline uh, smaller or you can make it larger uh, you have the microphone here so if you want to record voiceover um, 
then you have a couple tools here and also you can edit the uh, the size of the windows as well like so so um, yeah um, for so for these are the tools you can use for your timeline so you have the zoom tool uh, the hand tool the pen tool the slide tool the razor tool if you want to cut off cut a piece of clip out then you have the uh, rep repo edit tool the track select forward and the select track select forward tool so this the snap tool uh, you want to have this on you want to have this enabled because what it does uh, is for example let's say if we disable this see it doesn't click in into place right here so if if we enable it as you can see you have those uh, little uh, you can see it clicks into place um, yeah so and then that's pretty much uh, the gist of it um, you can have there's more you can unlock the panel and close the panel all the stuff but yeah that's I wanted to give you guys a basic overview uh, I was in Adobe Premiere Pro the uh, workspace uh, windows so yeah um, that's been it for this video thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe leave a like and comment and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace